what's the difference between socialism and capitalism? In socialism, people wait for bread. In capitalism, bread waits for you. In this old clip, Bernie Sanders has good things to say about food rationing. You know, it's funny, sometimes American journalists talk about how bad a country is because people are lining up for food. That's a good thing. In other countries, people don't line up for food. The rich get the food and the poor starve to death. Socialism isn't cool, guys. Making everyone equally poor is not progress. 49% of people aged 18 to 29 have a positive view of socialism. Yikes! I've never understood how young people who tend to be anti-authority, let people control their own destiny, peace and harmony, would be for socialism. A centralized, top-down system where the government decides? Even if you have the smartest leaders, the best leaders, people with great intentions, the economy cannot be centrally planned. The economy, there's all these signals going back and forth from consumers to producers about increasing and decreasing supply and demand. Giving control of that to politicians and bureaucrats is insane. They cannot possibly have the knowledge to run things. That's why there were bread shortages in the Soviet Union, and soap, and shoes, and butter, and, and, and? In 1989, Russian President Boris Yeltsin went to a U.S. grocery store. His mind was blown. All of these choices, how is this even possible? Well, you let people buy and sell goods and respond to incentives and price signals, things tend to work itself out. Why is capitalism treated as this evil thing? Less than a third of millennials have a positive view of capitalism. Capitalism is just the economy controlled by the people as opposed to the state for profit. Profit is evil. Profit is not an evil thing. It's a reward for producing something that people want to buy. Exchange is voluntary in a capitalist system. People buy an item because they value that more than their money, and both sides are made better off by the exchange. If something is overpriced, the producer will have to adjust the price to reflect market value or face going out of business. Too many people blame the problems in the current system on capitalism, which is absolutely frustrating. Capitalism is the separation of economy and state. Wall Street bailouts, corporate handouts, those are the opposite of capitalism. Do not blame capitalism on them. To me, the face of capitalism is the entrepreneur who risks everything because he or she has an idea that they believe will make people's lives better. That's cool. Socialism, government control, fewer choices, that's not cool. 